we are in London. We've just parked our car there and we've got a booking at Tea Room, which is about an hour away. As you can see, quiet, which is just the way I like it. In fact, I think it's busier back home than it is here. Still very nice. Off we go. So this is what I like about London. Quite often in your mind, you think it's going to be so busy and people are going to be everywhere. Well, it depends on what sort of London you go to. This is my sort of London, away from all the big high streets, all the little beautiful places, nooks and crannies. As you can see, nice and quiet. The main reason me and Sue like to come to London is to look at all the buildings, the architecture. They're just, they've got some beautiful buildings here. What they will be worth, I don't know. Probably an absolute fortune. But still, beautiful. Everyone knows this road, Portobello Road. So, zoom out a little bit. We're going to have a little walk around. See what's going on. I think these houses are flats for something like a million or two million each, something ridiculous. But, um, you can buy a Notting Hill shopping bag there. Oh yeah, these flats here, these houses here are worth a fortune. Those that are interested, this is the travel bookshop used in the film Notting Hill. So, still there, still going. That's a bit of fun, isn't it? We're in uh, London, and look at that for a name. Don't know what they're selling. I love these little gardens that they have private for um, people that live here. So uh, it's all they get, I suppose. But it's not bad, is it? Nice little private garden. Still think I prefer my own garden though. A bit bigger, a bit nicer. I'd have to share it. <laughs> How retro those flats are. So we are about two miles from um, our coffee shop, making good time. Not much to see here, I'm afraid, just uh, houses. But quite like those flats. This is where we booked our afternoon tea. And as you can see, we've got the whole shop to ourselves. It's all for us. How's that for a remote? Good morning to our friends across the pond. I found a beach angel who's now a snow angel. <laughs> She's loving it. So this is this proper British looking colonial type hotel thing that we're staying at now in Virginia. So we'll be in touch. Love you both. Bye-bye. So we're back in uh, Portobello Road. And we've had our afternoon tea. And the reason we're back is Sue spot this Coca-Cola sign. It's still there. Shop's still open. We're going to see if we can buy it. We're going to see if we can knock him down. Because everyone likes a bargain. Hopefully we can get one. Sue's got a bag. And in it is Coca-Cola sign. We got it for... 34 quid in the end, which Sue's very happy. Yeah. We would have paid more anyway, so we're quite happy that we've got it for a cheaper price. So uh, back to the car, pick up our luggage, and then on to the hotel. Now that is a shop window display sign. That's how you sell pizzas. So we have arrived. The bathroom. Hello. Uh, TV and our bed. It's a little quaint room, but beautiful nonetheless. Uncomfortable and clean, and that's all you want. Ugh. Time to relax. Last time we were here, they did a little kettle and things, which is what we liked about the hotel. And we've got it again. A little kettle, lordship, ladyship, and in here is uh, some water and coke, and it's all complimentary, which I think is quite nice. I prefer the slippers, and I got an ironer for getting Sue doing some ironing in case she gets bored. Okay, bye bye for now.